Discover how the Word of God can bring a change in your life through the teachings of Bishop Eddie Addy. Bishop Eddie Addy is an assistant to Bishop Daniel Mills and serves as the resident bishop of the Macarius Church. Anointed, energetic, and a practical teacher, the servant of God will inspire you with practical teaching of the Word of God that will refresh you, energize you, and bring healing to your body, soul, and spirit. Now, to the message. Let us pray. Father, what a blessing it is to be in your presence. Have mercy on us. Teach us of your ways. And give us grace to walk in your paths. Because you have been teaching. You have been showing us through your spirit. Showing us your way. Showing us your word. Guiding us. Directing us. We thank you. This even in once again, we ask for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, the understanding of our eyes being, and being enlightened, illuminated through the spirit of revelation to know the hope of your calling and the power of the resurrection and the riches of the inheritance you have in the saints. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated. Fantastic. We are in the week of honoring, so I'm preaching on honoring with ease. And I'm preaching from the last chapter of my book, Those Who Honor You, written by Doug Howard Mills. So, Romans 13, verse 7, it says... Render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. And then fear to whom fear. And honor to whom honor. Let's read it all together. All of us, join me, read it. Romans 13 verse number 7. Go. Render therefore to all their dues. Uh huh. Oh, you can't read, or you don't know how to read, or you don't want to read. I am instructing all of us to read. Those of you watching by Facebook, read also. Even if you don't have a Bible near you, there's one on the screen right where you are. So let's all join everybody reading. Reading is good. Good. So let's go together. Render therefore. To all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. And I like to read it from the New International Reader's Version. It says, give to everyone what you owe them. So what is due means that the thing is due for you to pay and you are not paying. Some of you can borrow somebody's money and then when he's coming for it, it becomes a tug of war. <laughs> Christians in church. Hey! You can say you are selling something to a fellow Christian. When now he has given you the money, the thing is not coming. Then it becomes a problem between the two of you. Hey! Okay, so... The Bible says, give to everyone what you owe them. Then he says, do you owe taxes? Then pay them. Do you owe anything else to the government? Tier one, tier two. He says, then pay it. Do you owe respect? Then give it. Do you owe honor? Then show it. Uh -huh. Very clear. So these are debts that we owe and we must ensure that they are paid. And I pray that you will not be a borrower, borrowing people's. You have gone for somebody's blouse for a wedding. Now the person cannot get the blouse again. When they see you, you are now going for another program. Meanwhile, it was for only one program. Now you are going for several, <laughs> it's like you are now the owner, it's like since you, it was given to you, it's now yours. Meanwhile, that was not the agreement. Please, 
pay it back. Give it back. So, do not let, I'm basically going to be reading from my book. I'm going to be reading and then maybe just explain one or two, but not much because it's been written and it's very nice. And since you have not read it, I am reading for you so that you can be blessed. So, do not let the concept See, I'm coming here, then you put it on the side. Where I'm coming? Oh, I shouldn't come down. <laughs> Please disappear quickly. You are not a preacher. So, do not let the concept of honoring be a problem for you anymore. Do not apologize if you have to honor someone. The Bible says that Render to everyone their due. Some people are due honor. So he says, honor. Honor Honor to whom honor. So honor to whom honor. So the first honor is a verb. And the second honor is a noun. Yes. So honor means that act on it. Yes. It's a doing word. Yes. And the second one is that the person... Is due, he, he deserves honor. <laughs> yes. So, brothers and sisters, there are people in our lives that deserve honor. Bible says, honor your father and your mother. It's, it's a divine law. You cannot over honor your father and you cannot over honor your mother. And contrary to the naysayers, naysayers, there are always naysayers. A person who habitually expresses negative or pessimistic views. Naysayer. A person who habitually expresses negative or pessimistic view. Hey, you are doing it too much. Hey, move three bibido. Oh, you are too some way with this thing. We have heard it's okay. Yes. Your father deserves honor. Your teacher. Even um, classroom teacher, educational teacher, also deserves honor. There's a sticker that the Ghana National Association of Teachers have on, behind their cars that if you can read this, thank a teacher. <laughs> Some of you, there was a teacher who really made you study. Because at a certain junction of your life, no, you were going astray. You were good and intelligent, but you were going astray. He has to whip you. He has to report you. He has to report to your mother, your headmaster, headmistress. Come to your house. They whip you in his presence. Whip you like that. Then you corrected. Today you are looking powerful and you are working in a bank. Thank that teacher and honor him in your life. Yes. The concept is a concept. If you don't have it, you must add it to your life. There are people who have helped you. Somebody helped you at a junction of your life. For the rest of your life, <laughs> he, he stands at a place of honor and must always, you can't honor somebody and say, I've done it already, it's enough. No. It's something that, that change eh, affected you and has affected you for your life. So that change that the person brought and therefore where he stood in your life is still relevant even if after 10 years, after 20 years, after 30 years, after 50 years. You can't say your father gave birth to you and you, uh, when it was your uh, 21st birthday, you honored him or your 30th birthday, you honored and bought him a car. So it's enough. Every day they are now calling you. It's not an event. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a standing order. Of honor. That about the honor to whom? Honor. Honor now and continue to honor as long as they deserve that honor. Yes. Honor now and continue. Pastors deserve honor. Pastors. A pastor who is teaching, feeding with knowledge and understanding deserves to be honored, appreciated, thanked reciprocal giving and appreciation to the person you reciprocate you 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 reciprocate i don't know how to even explain reciprocate yes 
It's a hand go hand come. What he has done, you return back what he has done in good measure. That's why the Bible says that let him that is taught in the word communicate to him that teacheth in all good things. It's something that you communicate. Share. You can't say I finished sharing my things. It's enough. I gave you something. Quiet. Be quiet. Finish. It's not finishing like that. Honor is a standing order. It's something that is done every week of your life, every month of your life, every year of your life. Your father gave birth to you. You are still your father's seed. Even though you are now bones. Yeah, you can't grow up and insult your father. And tell him, I don't need you anymore. Hey! You, you, you are a fool. Yes. Those of you who insult your mothers and face them and so on and throw your hands because it's like now she, you don't need her breast milk. So on, because the breast is dry now. So you don't need, when you look at her, it's like you don't, I don't need your breast milk and so I don't need you to control my life. You can't tell me what to do. I'm a grown up. Oh! You are a fool. All I can say to you is that you are a fool. You are watching me. You are a fool. That's all. Enough. So the concept of honor is something that must never become a problem for you. A founder of a church like Bishop Dagwood Mills that we are honoring must be honored. Their kind is rare. Not many people can start churches and build them into a conglomerate. That also about Tuesday service. My name bamboozle kakrawai. Let me bamboozle you small. <laughs> After all, you are wearing a mask. So even if you don't understand, nobody knows that you don't understand. <laughs> yes. Built a ministry worldwide. Even though it hasn't covered all the nations of the world, we are still praying that God will give us entrance and, and open doors into countries that we have never entered. We are still praying, but we are advancing. We are advancing. We are not slowing down. We are advancing. Soon you see a branch in Nepal. Soon you see a branch in Ethiopia, many branches in Ethiopia. You will see many branches in Pakistan. You will see we have made inroads into the UAE, United Arab Emirates. You will see we are praying about them. God will hear us. One day you see us in Cambodia, Phnom Penh. You see us there. You see us in, in uh, 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 Azerbaijan. Not Azerbaijan, no. Azerbaijan. <laughs> Kajakistan. Yes. Different, different places. While we are praying, God will hear our prayer. And when you see a missionary coming, maybe one of these uh, type of white people in these type of countries, he's bringing his sheep for give thyself holy. He's bringing his pastor. Say, hey, who are these people? Oh, these are part of the UD. They are now, they are, we have branches in Azerbaijan and uh, Kajak, Kajakistan and uh, Tajimenistan, all the stars that in Afghanistan and Pakistan. <laughs> uh, it's going to happen in Jesus' name. And maybe you will be one of the pastors and the missionaries there. Yes, believe it. Their kind is rare. You don't find people of that caliber who have a, a, a worldwide appeal. It's like Jesus gave us the commission to go into all the world. How many even pastors are sending pastors all over the world? Even pastors don't want to go anywhere. When you transfer a pastor, you see something coming out of him right now. That's when you say that the Lord has called him to start his own ministry. Because he wants to stay in Accra. Or Chia. He wants to stay in the capital. So now he, want, he, he now hears that he heard a voice from behind him saying, this is the way, go in it and start your own ministry and call it Jesus is Alive International Ministries or God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life international ministries. <laughs> or 
uh, the church of the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly international. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yeah. So that they are kind of, so when you see a, 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 a founder of a ministry that is constantly drawing you and bringing you and, and trying to steer you along the path that Jesus, the founder and the builder of his own church, has led us to do. Their kind is rare and should be honored. Yes, and should be celebrated. And over here in our country, he should have been given a certain status like a state man, order of a statesman of, or, or, or the highest order of people with high IQ and intelligence and wisdom to advise the government. But because we are so full of politics, we don't appreciate such people. Only when they travel somewhere, then the people there recognize them and hail them and honor them and give them awards. But in their own country, so the Bible says a prophet is not without honor. So this honor must be normal and common because a prophet is not without honor. You see, it's a double negation. That's why you, you see a prophet is not without honor. A prophet is not... Without honor means, a prophet is without honor means that a prophet doesn't have honor. But a prophet is not without honor means that a prophet has honor. Because negative times negative is equal to positive. <laughs> but you know, King James, yeah, now sometimes you know, he, 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 he goes around before he comes to the center. So a prophet is not without honor. All he wants to say is that a prophet is honored greatly except in his own country. So he's honored, but not in his country, not among the people of his family, not his tribe's people. But we shouldn't fall into that thing. Ghanaians, we are not good at it because in Ghana, we are used to pull him down. It's a common phrase in the, it's a, a normal parlance language that we use everywhere. Eh? We have PhD, pull him, I said PhD, pull him down. Anybody who is trying to rise. Recently, I saw a little boy who had made a car at the age of 14. I mean, he put the bodies of different pieces of cars. He, I don't know how he cemented them or cello taped them or I don't know. He parked the car is moving. You can see that any moment, all the parts can just fall off. But he has made an attempt. He could spark it. He could move it. He could drive it. He could maneuver it. It may not look nice, but if he was somewhere, 14 year old, oh, they would have put him somewhere in an auto, uh, whatever, and given him some machines to help him to develop what is in his head. But over here, sure, yeah. if, if they hear that his father is MPP or his father is NDC, that's the end of his dreams. And then the family members of the boy cry, hey, who do you have? Uh, there's some witchcraft under your eyes you can't go where are you going with this thing we are driving you go and die oh you better stop it hey you go and sleep by the time you come your own brothers and sisters have dismantled your machine <laughs> it's a pull him down it's a, okay, we are all here you alone you want to go where pull him down and some of you are sitting here you are like that Anybody going somewhere, if people are dancing, it pains you. If people are singing, it pains you. If people are preaching, it pains you. If people are anything people are doing, if it is not you, it pains you. It's like once it's not you, you don't like it. How can only you be the one to be elevated? At least somebody should also be elevated. Then another time, this one too is elevated. Another time, this one too is applauded. Another time, this one is celebrated. Another time, this one, we praise him. And this one, we, we call his name. And you are in a church, you must, you must, that's what I'm preaching on. Honor with ease. It shouldn't be a struggle. I'm saying I'm reading and you are making me talk. Mm. You are not a rebel. You are not a disloyal person. 
You are not a dishonorable child. You are walking in the glory of God. You are doing the will of God. The Holy Spirit is guiding you. You will render to everyone their dues. You will give honor to whom honor is due. Yes. You are not a rebel. Let honor and honoring people be something that is easy for you. And when God sees your heart, one day he'll be blessing you. You'll be giving cars, houses. Yes. To honor people. You build a house for your, you, you build a house. If you can have money, you won't build for your mother. She will rent. Ah, and then you rent, you rent your own house to somebody. They will spoil the place. They will destroy the place. And they will come and make the place dirty. And so on. I won't get anything from them. Let me rather rent it. You don't understand what honor is. And you don't understand the benefits of honor. That's why you only look for money. Don't labor only for money. Labor for a blessing. When you honor someone, you also receive honor. In uh, 1 Samuel chapter uh, 2 verse 30, the Bible says, Whosoever honors me, I will honor. And him that uh, despises me shall be lightly esteemed. God says, whoever honors me, I will honor. And who, whosoever as despises me will be lightly esteemed. It's like you become a persona non grata. <laughs> yes. You are of no consequence. You are not going anywhere to happen. Nobody will ever invite you into a meeting. You, you will not be significant when you are lightly esteemed. Even when people are passing, they don't greet you as if you are not there. Mercy. So, honor brings honor. So, you don't learn it. You will see that you are not also being honored. As we pull people down, we ourselves cannot climb up. As you are pulling people down, you also, because you are setting the stage for others to also bring you down. Always talking about somebody, oh, and the song cry was not nice. Oh, this song cry, even this girl can sing it better. Oh, even her dressing cry was some way. Even the way she walked to the stage cry, I didn't really like it, but you know how it is me, I can't speak. Ah, are you a witch? Are you a wizard? Oh. What? The preacher is preaching and they clap. Now you are standing aside. Then it's paining you that why are they clapping? This type of what is he saying that they are clapping? What is he saying that they are clapping? When, when did we see Jesus preaching that they were clapping for him? Oh, you are you are silly. Even I don't even know how to say it. I, I, silly is like an advice. It's a, yeah, it's a villager. We are crassini. Yes, that's what you are. Why are you preaching and insulting us? I, you, it is not an insult. It's a very nice way I'm putting it. If I wanted to insult you, you would have heard it. <laughs> when somebody, you don't have a big church, somebody has a big church, you have to criticize him. When will you have a big church? If you criticize somebody who has a big church, how will you have a big church? Eh? You are a pastor too. Somebody is preaching. Then you just take his message. Who do you message be? Don't you have a message to preach? Then you take his message and start to dissect it. And oh, even this side is just he's just doing some this thing. He's not really he's not staying with the verse. He should stay with the verse. This one, the interpretation is wrong. The interpretation. Where is your own message? Why don't you preach a message so that we see that you are preaching the word of God instead of debunking what somebody is preaching? It's all the pull him down thing. No. You leave somebody's church. The person has trained you. The person has appointed you. The person has ordained you. The person has consecrated you because you are angry. When you leave, you start insulting him. I mean, and you are also going to start a church. Oh, and you are using the title that the person put on you. Hey, man, man, poke. Why don't you throw that title away and use another, another title? Every day you want to bring somebody. It's like, once somebody is going down, then you can ascend. <laughs> Do you think you can ascend? Do you think you can rise up when you are just aiming at, it's like somebody is climbing up. You are just climbing. You want to get there and bring him down. Well, you see, you would have climbed up. 
Once you can get to where he is and bring him down, when you are bringing him down, you are also coming down. What you don't know is that you are coming down to. You are coming down. And you will never come down. He will never come down. You can never bring down somebody whom God has elevated. You can't do it. It's not in your power. No matter how you criticize the person, no matter how you insult the person, so stop insulting, stop criticizing, and start building your own ministry and concentrate. If God has called you, concentrate on your own calling so that God will have mercy on you. Otherwise, you will see that you can also rise. And you may think that people are happy with you. There are people who may say, oh, good, good, good. it's good. Men of God who have come cry, they like something too much. They are almost bow about, so they are encouraging you. They won't come to you too. <laughs> they will not come to you. It's just the same order of don't honor anybody. Bishop Duncan Williams, look at the amount of bullets. If you were in Ghana, in the mid 80s, early 80s to mid 80s, you would have heard of him always in the news. He's driving a Benz, he's eating salad, he's chewing chicken. Oh, he goes to restaurant. They faced him. Uh, it's like a man of God. Why do you go to restaurant? Man of God. Look at him living large and his members are poor. He lives at East Legon. Ah. Is it not a place today? Squatters also live at East Legon. Squatters live at East Legon. Airport. Go to, I can show you a place at airport. When you go there, you see that, hey, is there a place like that at the airport? Yes. Yes. Right behind pre- former President Kofor's house. If you go behind, you will see that, hey, is this, I mean, is this some kind of, I mean, is it a Zongo place somewhere or it is airport? It's airport. It's a kiosk estate. Oh, a man of God the airport. Now you're there. Why you where do you stay? You you live where? Where do you live? Just a man of God, yeah, he should go and live at maybe Swalaba or um Akotolante or maybe uh Koliwaku. Then it's like oh he is humble. We won't live at Koluaku. And he will not live at Swalaba. He will not live there. Wherever he chooses to live, allow him to live it. And you rather should say, live there. It's a safer place. It's a better place. It's easier. It's nearer. And give him security. And stop that nonsense. Oh. I have only six points. I'm going to read them out. One, honor with love and faith. In John 12, verse 1, we read of, from verse 1, verses 1 to 8, we read of um, Mary. Jesus was in the house of Lazarus, the one he raised from the dead. And his sister, Mary, came to Jesus and did a marvelous thing. Yes. Beautiful. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. You go and serve a man of God, and you'll be counting his blows. I mean... We, we shouldn't eat eh? We should just be fasting. And you are you eat. Hmm. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Wow. Then said that his, his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? The Bible says this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bare what was put therein. Now you are stealing from the offering too. Look at the comments you are making. 
just small one they are showering on Jesus, they should have sold it. And meanwhile, you don't care for the poor too. You want them to bring it into the bag so you can collect it. Then said Jesus, let her alone. Let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. That's Jesus speaking. Poor people, you have them. So somebody said that it means that Jesus was not poor. Because he said, the poor you have, but, but me. But me means that he's not poor. <laughs> it's also an interpretation. It's for another day. It's not for this message. Some people struggle with the concept of honoring another human being. It is time for you to believe in the beauty and the blessings of honoring those to whom it is due. If you truly understand what it is, you will begin to enjoy honoring those who deserve honor. Mary and Martha loved Jesus Christ. So honor with love and and faith. Believe in the concept. Believe that it is a good thing. When your children grow up, they will bless you, they will honor you because you will teach them to honor. When your friends, it's your birthday, they will honor you because you have taught them to honor. Somebody's birthday, even happy birthday cry, you will not say. It's like, it's, it's too much for either your fingers or too much for your mouth. Because you don't know how to honor people. Even common birthday, happy birthday cry, you can't say it. When a lot of people are texting, saying nice things about the person on the platform, then you are quiet. It's like, why? Why is everybody saying about this guy? No, he is even some way. I mean, I mean, he doesn't even whatever. Then you say something negative. You are a naysayer. A naysayer. Birthday too. You can't say happy birthday. You are you bring a gift. Happy birthday, which is just a normal happy birthday. Two words. Just type in it. You won't do because you are not used to honoring. You are just used to criticizing and saying negative things. You won't grow well. Though. I'm not cursing you, but if you, you are like, you will never rise. When they are clapping, it's like, I'm holding a phone, I can't clap. Put it down! And clap your hands! Ah. As they are clapping, it's like, um, I, I'm, I'm holding, uh, my handkerchief is in my hand, I can't clap. Do it somewhere! And clap your hands! Like your hands are yours! I'm not saying you should clap. I don't even know why you are clapping. Ah, you are changing. You should change. Your wife makes nice food. You don't know how to say thank you. Or it was a nice food. It was nice too. Oh, you enjoyed it. Oh, but just to say it. Oh, kweku. Is that ah? Do I need to say it? Need to bend that. You see, you, you, you should have swollen head. You should be swollen headed. And look at how you have eaten. Spread yourself. Open your uh, buttons and put one leg on the the the, the leg the, the the armrest of the sofa with a toothpick. You are removing excess meat from in between your teeth. And you can't say thank you, baby. Thanks for that thing you did. It was very nice. I really enjoyed it. I like a repeat of that thing this evening. Because you don't know how to honor. Appreciate. Especially boys. You see them there. They, they don't know how to even when they, when they come, it's like to say hello or to say good morning or uh, oh, how are you? We are here or to receive a hug or to give you a hug. Like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, what's up? 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 You are just standing there. What's up? What is what's up? What is what's up? What is what's up? Oh, hello. Good to see you. Oh, uh, very wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. Social distance or no social distance, we can hug. Move through no more. When you are out there, you do all these things. When you come here, no more big say social distance. Hug. Be affectionate. 
Salute people, honor them. Oh, hello. You see your mother, your mother comes, you are still sitting down. Your father arrives, you are in your room, you won't get out. Ah, what do you mean? Oh, daddy has come, okay. Come out of the room and come and salute him. Welcome, daddy. My house help cry. When I arrive in the house, they come to my car. They say, welcome, daddy. Welcome, daddy. My house, my house help. Because uku shiana over the kitchen. It's like once you go and meet your mommy who has just arrived, no, she will take you to the kitchen. You don't want her to know that you are in the house. So you are still in your room. Lazy girl. Village girl. Village girl. And I blame these small, small boys who say you are beautiful, you are nice, there's no one like you. I've not seen a girl like you. I like the way you look. I like your looks. I like your hair. I like your kai. But lazy, lazy. I drop. You are beautiful, but you are not nice at all. You are, you are beautiful outside, but yeah, you don't talk well. Your mouth smells. You don't bath well. You don't bath twice. Sometimes one whole day you won't bath. And your mother will be she's been facing you, and you don't like it. So when she comes, you don't want to meet her. From today, honor your mother. Honor your father. Acknowledge their presence. The woman came. She loved Jesus. This Mary. In Luke 10, I think 42, the Bible says that she sat at Jesus' feet. And heard his words. Luke 10, I think. Yes, but yes. Verse 41. You will see it for, from verse 41. He says, and Jesus, okay, 40, 40. Because Martha, her sister Martha. Mary and Martha were sisters. Martha was more into the kitchen things. But Martha was cumbered about my servant and came to Jesus and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Be, okay, I think it's earlier too. Verse 38. Ah, brother, help the preaching so that it can work. Well, I'm showing you where the thing is. Now, it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. And you can see the love that, okay, I know you need food, but I, I prefer, I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. Sit down. I want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I always want to be. Banana. I just want to be. You see, I want to be where you are, was her song. I don't know whether she was singing that song, but at least she was right at the feet. She wanted to be. She heard his word. She, she liked Jesus. I want to be where you are. Yes. You've come, some, you can go and visit some people. You will never see them. Hey, they are doing something. Even the water crowd, they don't have. So they are now going out to go and buy water and come and put it in the fridge for some five minutes so that at least some small coolness will be around the bottle before they bring it. Hey! Then they will go inside the kitchen. They are making chips. They are making granuts. They are making, they are making cooking rice. It's like you have come, you are coming to eat. Who told you that? You can't even see them to even say why you have come. That, I'm here for just two minutes oh. As you are going to town to go and buy water, I'm not, I hope you won't come and meet me. Where is she? So she's just saying something here and come. Oh, she was just, oh, where is she? Where? Ah, now I try where, no, so, oh, oh, Bishop, buy no, where is she? Where is she now? Where has she gone to? Oh, she's disappeared because she's going to buy Fanta. Who told you that I like to drink Fanta? 
But when Jesus came to her house, she sat at his feet. She, she sat on the carpet at his feet so that, and looked straight into his eyes. See, that's, that's it. Then one day when he was in the house, there she comes. She feels that Jesus is very expensive. So she takes her expensive, John 12, she takes her expensive ointment, very costly, the Bible says. Very costly. When you even want to appreciate, it's like your change and your leftover be. That you want to just give, it's like, I dare not look. I don't know. I, let me just, I mean, the man cry, he has money already. I don't need to do anything. If you love someone, you will honor the person. Honor and respect are natural products of love. When a person is loved, he is honored. It is important that you tune all your relationships to the love frequency. Tune all your relationships to the love frequency. You must love your husband. Then you will honor him naturally. You must love your pastor. Then you will honor him naturally. It is when you do not love someone that honoring becomes a problem. Beautiful. Yeah. Bishop Price says, I heard of a billionaire who gave $5 million to his housekeeper and $100 to each of his children. He gave five million dollars to the housekeeper and hundred dollars to each of the children. Well, you don't honor the man. You won't come to him when he is there. You won't call him. You won't relate with him. So when it is time to really honor somebody in his life, it is the housekeeper who is coming around. He's daddy, what do you need? Sir, is there anything I can do for you? Um, actually, I was choking a bit. Can you get me some water? The person will run, not walk. Run. The children, they are, they are in their rooms. On their WhatsApp phones. And laptops. They buy you a phone. Pe- that's it. You can't relate with anybody again. Now. Put that damn phone down. And go and talk to people. phone, sir. I want to talk to your hands are even shaking now. You have got some kind of uh, uh, some uh, some tremor. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are Parkinson's disease at the age of twenty-three. Your thumb has become stiff because what type of are... now? When you even leave your thumb, it's like this. He says, when I was in medical school, I had a rich man who gave millions of dollars to his cat. He said that the cat should be looked after in a home and research should be done for all cat illnesses. To his wife, he gave a Bible. So that it will help her to change her rude and disrespectful ways. (laughs) <laughs> yes he gave five million dollars to his cat who cannot speak who cannot even say thank you but you see when the cat knows you he's always come and jump and lie in your laps keep you company meow that's what she can say meow then you see the madam foolish man that's common on her lips foolish man useless man when you call her uh, you even giving her a nice name oh, darling what what is it what is it just wave your hand can you get me some water with ice get you what with ice is the fridge has the fridge traveled So when the man is dying, he should sign five million and give to you. He will give you a Bible. Read it. So the Bible will show you how to change and be respectful. Instead of always insulting in some way and rude. 
First Corinthians chapter 7. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. There's a famous story. It's even in the, it's in the, it's on the internet. You can read it if you want. Another story of honor was about Karawood. In 1992, Karawood was 17 years and working at Drain's Colonial Restaurant in her hometown at Chadrain uh, Falls, about 15 miles east of Cleveland in Ohio. She was a good employee, bright, friendly, and helpful. Bright, friendly, and helpful. Bright, friendly, and helpful. You are in the church. You are not bright, friendly, and helpful. I'm watching you, bright, friendly, and helpful. Those of you on, the, on Facebook, bright, friendly, and helpful. You are not. But she was. Kara Wood, she was. She was just 17 years in college. I'm sure she was just doing some vacation or after school work in some restaurant, just serving as a, wait, a waitress. She was a good employee. One customer, Bill Craxton, liked her so much that he always sat in her section. A widower with no children, he went daily to the restaurant for his meals and some company. So, they, came, they became friends. In addition to being his regular waitress, she helped him around the house and ran errands for him. Yes. Wood became so important. You see, you are thinking something bad. They say, hey, man, no, you're a small girl. Then you me me and kakra kakra. Stupid boy. Look at the thoughts that are going on in your head. <laughs> she ran around for him. Wood became so important to Craxton that he rewrote his will. Making her the main beneficiary. Craxton was 82 years old. It's not like he was looking for a girlfriend. Those of you with a bad mind. 82 year old man. What? The thing was not working. Craxton at 82 died of heart failure in November 1992 and left her half a million dollars. Yes. Half a million dollars was given to this 17 year old. Oh, if you are, if you are, the, the girl killed her, you see. Stupid boy. You would think that the girl killed him. The girl killed him. You see, that's how come you will never rise. But you will rise this time. I said you will rise this time. I said you will rise this time. Half a million. 17 years. If I gave you 17 years or even 25 years old. If I gave you even 500,000 Ghana cities. Not dollars. 500,000 Ghana cities. Will you be normal? <laughs> Somebody got $900,000. It wasn't uh, pounds. It wasn't easy for her. 90,000 90, pounds. She, she became confused. She went on a shopping spree. Top beer. No, no. Hey! Yari cash! Yari cash! Oh! Watch Mubempa. Oh! Hey, I draw a 10 year and let them see the watch. Watch him up and Rolex Papa B. In one day, you spend 31,000 pounds in shopping, just buying things. Then you are, yeah, 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 The thing has passed through her head, it has confused her brains. She doesn't know what to do. A funny dream, she's confused. She became confused. Learn to honor. And it's not when you are honoring somebody that you are looking, hey, is he going to make me uh, the sole beneficiary of his will? Is he going to? Or you, you just help somebody around or then you ask for a car. Can I get a picanto? <laughs> uh, Boss can not even talk picanto, man. It's like I've heard that sometimes some big men buy picanto for young girls. I would like to, I've gone to learn how to drive. Can I get a picanto? 
You will get a canto, not picanto. Canto. You will get a canto, not picanto. Canto is the knee. The knee. Not picanto. Oh, picanto. So when you are helping anybody, you are, your help, the help is not the main thing. Oh. You, you are beyond the help. You are looking for what I can get beyond the help. Number two. <laughs> Point number two. My time is finished, so when I finish only this one, I'll go. Number two, honor with acceptance and admiration. Yes. You have to admire the person. Yes. Oh, he has a lot of faults. Look, he likes shouting sometimes. A person may shout. Sometimes if you're a good leader, you have to shout. Otherwise, people will misbehave. People are some way all the time. When you turn your back, paint here, they won't paint. Sweep here, they won't sweep. Clean here, they won't clean. Weed here, they won't weed. So sometimes, one thing, you have said it more than 15 times. So if you, you don't shout, it will never be done. And if you don't shout, every commandment will have to be repeated about 20 times before it is done. Sometimes you have to insult people. Why you are You are like a villager walking here. Yes. As if your brains have disappeared from your head. You are behaving like you have never been to school before. How can you not see this one? If you don't say it and be strong, things will not get done. Everything, you have to do it yourself. So a good leader there, shouting there, is part of your makeup. Yes. If you don't want to be seen that you are somewhere or you don't you 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 there you, you don't like shouting, it's like your type of leadership, you don't shout. You will see how things will go bazaar. Sometimes when I come here, I'm always looking around. Why is this? But I don't want to see if look at the bobs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, 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 two. If only one is not working, you will hear from my lawyer. Only one. That I should come from New Botiano. To come and point that ah, but this bulb is off. Then you look up and say, Oh, yes, it is off. Ah, I'll point you just now. <laughs> yes, we are, we are going home. Then I press this door, it, all doors are locked, only this one is open. Then when I say that, why was it not locked? Oh, I'm going to lock it. Ah. No brain. No brain at all. You don't have any brains? Are you that irresponsible? I'll find some rhyming, abusive words and use it on you. So now you see that every door is locked at the time it must be locked. I cannot come around checking each door. Ask before I go home. Then I press, press, press. Okay. Then I come in. Then I check. It's not okay. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Good. 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 Before I go home, am I watchman? After I've gone to labor in the word and preached and sweated, yes, I should come and also be checking after you. Hey, then why did I get you also here? So when you have people like that, you don't like them. A lot of Ghanaians are poor workers. They'll be working and they're just looking to see whether their big man is coming before they work. Yeah. They'll never work. You are like that. You are looking at my face through your mask. Change your ways. You have to admire the person. If it, because if I take Bishop Tiger Mills, if he wasn't like he keeps saying himself that, if he was not strong, pastors will not move to places. Almost everybody, he said, was saying the other day, um, everybody he has, trans- in fact, not almost, everybody, apart from me, actually. <laughs> oh, you can ask him, God, me, I was not, when I was transferred, I was very happy, even though I was transferred without instruments. <laughs> I was jumping and dancing as I was going. I went with glee. Not, there was not a face, cha- my face never changed because of the transfer. I was, I prayed for the will of God to be done. When he said, move, I just, I said, beautiful is the will of God that I came to this branch. That's why we are here today. Yes. Yes. 
But every bishop, every pastor, every reverend who was transferred. Oh, why? Oh, even one pastor was telling us recently, he said he was transferred from his church, which had a building, to another branch in a classroom. He said he asked the pastor who called him about the transfer that, please, are you aware that they are in a classroom? (laughs) Are you aware that they are in a classroom? The pastor said, yes, I'm aware. (laughs) Yes. He said, are you aware that their income is very low? And that is about a tenth of my income. He said, yes, I'm aware. Go. He said his spirit was broken. And my spirit was not broken. Even though I was moving from a, a major cathedral, the Kodesh, the headquarters, to a classroom behind Yahoo Clinic. I was never, I mean, not to blow my horn, but at least he will say, except for him. Yes, he will say it. Yes. Yes. I was happy. I told them it's a new season. Won't worry, are you worry? Yes, you are not married, you marry. Hey, if you have not bought a car, I tell you, you will be driving. Hey, you, you don't have a beloved, you get a beloved. Long-standing bachelors are going to change to become husbands. And I tell you, we have all, you are in a classroom, but in some years to come, we'll build our own church. Yes. 5th August, 2012, we, we landed. 5th August, 2020, we are here. The new building. Instead of praising, admiring, you'll be criticizing. Eh, when, they, 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 when they get up, then they just move us. Meanwhile, when they are moved and they go to their new post, they shine. They have a better church building. They have a better congregation. They have more income. They command more, whatever. I mean, they are more. Then they say, oh, Bishop, move your wise. Oh, Bishop, move your wise. Oh. But when the thing is happening, you'll be facing the person. And there are bishops who have left the church because they couldn't accept transfer. I will not tell you that it's because of transfer that this one has left or because of whatever. Small rebuke. Then you just take off. We shouldn't rebuke you. We should just praise you. When you are lazy. You don't come for rehearsal. When we see you, she say, Oh, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one. Hey, you are the love of my life. Yeah. You don't come for rehearsal. Why don't you come for rehearsal? We should ask you. With straight face and shiny eyes. And it will change you. And make you come for rehearsal. Instead of saying that, eh, they don't know. Every day you come, they are insulting you. Well, every day, is it every day? Just once they are briefing, it's every day they are insulting you. That's why a lot of pastors cannot even rebuke their people. Because you are afraid that they will leave the church. You have to rebuke. Leave. If you leave, you leave. It will be left with a few people who, who receive instructions and do them. It will make the church go forward. Instead of these people who are pulling you back all the time. Share. Without admiration, your mouth will not be open. Your heart will not be turned towards your master. Mary saw Jesus as the greatest and the best. She lay at his feet. Yes. Heard his word. You have to admire. Must, he must be the Bishop Dagwood News must be a great leader to us. A great apostle. A great man of God. When you are in your home, that's why I say pray for him. Think about him and pray because sometimes because you don't see the person standing here doesn't mean that he's not in our lives. He's, uh, he's in our lives 230% more than you can imagine. You there, you want to only honor only the people you can see. <laughs> That's why you don't honor God. Because you can't see God, you don't pay your tithe. But if God was always standing here in his glorious throne and it's time to pay your tithe and he's looking at our faces. Hey, do you think that even as you are coming from home, you, you will not bring <laughs> the tithe that you have kept under your pillow? So if you don't see Bishop 
He is here. He is the father of this church. He is the father of this denomination. He is the founder of it. He is the controller of it. He is the, he is the mover of it. He is the guide. He is the teacher of it. He is everything, I'm telling you. He is, we, we have one shepherd. Look at my, me holding the book. It's, Dag, it's not my name. Dag, what Mill's name that's on it. When you are your little church at Jenayo, you have made your face like a pussycat. <laughs> what do we have? Why, why do we have to give him anything? Why do we have to give him anything? Eh? Why do they want to force us? Nobody is forcing you. It's not by force. If you don't want to give, don't give. We don't need your money. He doesn't need your money. We don't need your money. Your money will not do anything. After all, how much crowd will you add? It's actually for your blessing. That is why we are encouraging you to honor whom. Bible says that honor to whom honor is due. 50 Ghana be, 200 Ghana be, 1,000 be at the And I say, I mean, ah. Admiration is what causes honor to be easy for you to give. Think about it. Go on the internet. In case you don't, you don't watch documentaries of healing Jesus. So that's why you don't know what is happening in the crusades. You don't watch videos, YouTube, pornography. Now, so your heart is tuned away from the one you should actually honor. But if you took, take time and watch documentaries and watch videos where he's gone here, because all of them are on YouTube. Local preaching, international preaching, pastors' conferences, anything at all, documentaries are all on YouTube. His YouTube channel, Dag, what means YouTube channel, you find everything there. Video. To help your admiration. So that you see him, then you smile. Yes. Oh, that's my bishop. That's my apostle. That's my founder. That's my father. Yeah, that's my pastor. Yeah, that's our teacher. That's it. You point to him. John, he saw Jesus coming. He screamed, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the whole world. Oh, he was, he was praising Jesus. The two disciples left and followed Jesus. And he didn't complain. Uh, let me read the rest for you because I will not continue this next week. Number three, honor with a conviction. Honor with a conviction. Let God massage this concept into your heart so that it becomes something that stays with you. When it's a father, you honor. Biological, you honor. Pastoral, you honor. Founder, you honor. Teacher, you honor. Do you understand? Shepherd, you honor. Friend you honor. Husband you honor. Wife you honor. Yes. It stays. It will, the Holy Spirit will massage it into your heart. Amen. Yes. And when you don't have it as a conviction, you do it once you think about it. Oh, guy no crowd. Buy a shirt. The way he's dressed. Eh? He doesn't need my money. Then you just keep it. And Bishop said one day, he was, Papa Hagen was somebody that God had given to him. He had showed him he had read his books, he's listened to his messages, and an anointing came on him to teach and to do ministry. One day he had the opportunity to sow into his life. He was in a meeting. Papa Higgins was preaching. And then Papa Higgins said, this year, or said last year, my annual income was about something, something. His tithe was 20-something thousand dollars. Tithe. If your tithe is 20-something thousand dollars, even if it's $20,000, your tithe it means that your income is 200 and something thousand dollars. Two, over 240,000 dollars. So when you thought about it, you say, ah, and then this is my small dollars that I'm bringing there. What will you do for the man? Oh yeah, let me pocket my thing. Then the Holy Ghost took him on. Look at you, I'm grateful. Through this man, you have everything. Just honor him, you are making, yeah, 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 yeah. Took him on. He wept, repented, and sowed the seed. Conviction 
will make you do what is right. Yes. No, you come, you just come. Hey, 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 hey. You, don't, you don't have any deep conviction about it. If somebody says that, Kai, you, you are fools. So I hear you have been honoring your bishop. You give me a lot of money to eat. These people, they have money already. Why do you go and give money? Then, pa, you pocket your money. Because somebody has made a comment yes, and derailed your honor that you must afford and give. No conviction. No conviction. Sometimes I see people who are facing men of God. I say, ah, do you read the Bible or is just you are angry so you are just talking? Because what you are criticizing is in the Bible. Do you understand? But just because it's not being done for you, you are criticizing it. But if you read the Bible, you will shut up. If they give, do it for you, will you return it? When they give you car, won't you take? <laughs> Number four. Honor according to rank. So if you are honoring, if you, it's your, your, your shepherd's birthday and you make a cake at cake techniques for him and then when it is my birthday, you go and go to cake techniques and make the same size of cake and just change the name. That's not how they honor people. It's like, oh, normally when it's somebody's bed, it is where we order the cake from. Then you must order a cake that has not been seen before. Yes. Go and buy a big card. Everybody will sign, 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 sign. Oh, we are blessed. I'm blessed by our life. I'm blessed by, thank God for your life. Thank God for your life. Then 32 people will sign on the card. Then when it is my birthday too, you have done for the pastor in your local church. When it is my birthday, you also go and bring a big card. Then everybody sign, 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 sign. Put it in the same type of envelope and bring. So sometimes you go to somebody's house and say, ah, well, who brought this my card here? When you take it, it's not your card. It is actually... <laughs> it was the same... <laughs> the same thing was done. God told Eli that you have honored your sons above me. See? Because he had made a decree that they should eat certain portions of the sacrifice. And not other portions, but they were doing the one that God didn't want them. But he didn't rebuke them. So because he didn't rebuke them, God saw it as, since you are not facing your children, you are honoring them by not facing them. Because what they are doing, I would have faced them. But because you are not facing them, they are are encouraged to continue. It means you have honored them above me. Because my word is that they shouldn't do what they are doing. And since you are allowing them to do it, you are honoring them above me. Because what God's honor, you cannot give him the same honor that you give to God. You can't give it to your children. There's ranking, ranking in, in honoring. Yes. If it's your sister's birthday, you take her to uh, Riga, go and make this. And when it's your mother's birthday, you must take her to a higher restaurant than the one you took your sister. You bought six pieces of cloth for your sister. You bought six pieces of cloth for your mother. It's like, ah, are we the same? You are, your mother and your sister, are they the same? They are not the same rank. So one is a higher rank. Bishop Dagwood Mills is of a mightier rank than all of us. Yes. If you bless me with thousand cities and it is his honor, you go and give thousand. It's not the same. You have not done the honor properly. Why are you quiet? My last, uh, this one. Honor with humility. When you are humble, you can honor someone. When you are not humble, you can honor. Humble is humility that makes you see somebody very high. So he can be elevated. Beautiful. And last one. Honor before it is too late. John 12, 7. uh, Mary poured the alabaster box on Jesus' feet. And Jesus said, they should let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. 
He poured, she poured it on him and she said they should leave him as they were criticizing that. Leave her because she has done this against the day of my burying. Then when he died in Luke 23, 55 to 56, the Bible says, is the last, Luke, Luke 23, 55 to 56, Luke and the women also, which came with him from Galilee, followed after and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid. From verse 1, the next. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. So they saw where his body was laid. They came back and prepared their ointment. Now that he has died, they have now prepared their ointment. Next chapter, 24, verse 1. And the, uh, now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and setting others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre and they entered in and found not the body of Jesus. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed, there about behold two men stood. So they came, now they are coming to embalm. He was gone. But Mary had done it. She did it early enough. Early enough. You don't have to wait till somebody dies before you come and make a very nice donation with tears and crying and say, oh, I will miss you. I've saved some money I was going to use to buy land, but I want to buy coffee for Bishop. Can I buy the coffin? I like to buy the coffin. I'll, I'll take the. Please, why would they bury him? Get so many. I like to pay 20,000. 20,000. I'll do it. I'll do it. You do it. Do it now. Against the day of his burying. Don't wait till it is too late. Stand to your feet, please. Hallelujah. Honor with ease. Honor with ease. Honor with ease, not with stress and difficulty. Father, lift your hand and pray. Yes, it will be our turn to honor on Sunday. We should not be ashamed of it. It should not be something that we apologize for. We don't apologize for honoring someone. We don't apologize. It must be done with ease. It is a concept that is not foreign, it's not wrong, it's not a sin. It's not an advantage somebody is taking over you. It is due. Honor that is due whom honor is due. Lift your hand and pray for a minute. Maybe, perhaps your mother, you have not honored her well. Perhaps your father, you have not honored him well. Perhaps somebody who was of value in your life at a junction of your life, you have not honored them well. Today, repent of that thing and allow God to massage that conviction in your heart and let it become something that stays as a custom, as a tradition of your life that you do till you die. Makota deri mi shatalages, monta barate suage bale, yeta sunde barata kide yato, shendili mi kaparade sifrade. Thank you, Master. Have mercy on us, Lord. May we honor whom honor is due. May we respect whom respect is due. May we value whom who is valuable to us, Lord. Masheta kuria masota mapalo kataye zunte barakashe niberale. Oh, make us a people that honor whom honor is due. Make us a people that honor is easy for us to do. Make us a people that do not pull down and bring down and lower and, and despise and criticize. Make us a people that can honor and honor on time. In Jesus name. Amen. Father we thank you for your blessing. I want us all to lift up our hands and pray. Somebody watching me lift your hand and say Heavenly Father I thank you for today. I come to you just as I am. Please forgive me for all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. From today, I will serve Jesus. I will follow Jesus for the rest of my days. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen.
God bless you. You may be seated. It's time to give an offering. Don't go off when we call for offering. Don't go off. Eh? Why are you going off? Give an offering. Even if you won't go, stay on a little bit so that you hear one or two announcements and then you can go off. Then there's also grace dance. Look, grace dance is for happiness. There's a lot of depression even from the corona season. And failed businesses and failed harvest and so on. But today you want to dance. The dancing is liberating. Liberating. Yes. It's a prophetic move to dance so that something can be driven out of your life. I'm telling you. So don't go away. It's time to give an offering. If you are paying your tithe, I would like you to stand up. Stand up in your room. Stand up in the hall and I'm going to pray with you and God is going to bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Anybody else paying your tithe? If you are paying by Momo, you can still stand up and I'm going to pray with you. Father, bless your people as they honor you with their tithe. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you at home. God bless you. Come and drop it. Touch the uh, bag or drop it in the bag. And the Lord bless you indeed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God bless you. Give your tithe. When it is time for tithe, don't say I don't pay tithe. You pay tithe. You should pay tithe. God knows how to collect it if you, if you like. Challenge him. Beautiful. Now, you want to give an offering? There's, a, there's time for offering now and I want you to give 200 cities, 100 cities, 50 cities as an offering. Now that we are momoing, please, don't hold back. Those days when you used to say, well, I, I didn't carry money, I didn't carry money. Now you are carrying it in your hand. So give a good offering. Okay? And when it is time to give, don't say, oh, I don't have money in my mobile money. Look, now there is mobile money interoperability. It's a very good system that has been under the uh, Better Ghana agenda. Mobile money interoperability has been instituted. So it's now easy to move from bank to mobile money, mobile money to bank, bank to bank, mobile money to mobile money. So it's very good. Mobile money interoperability. Too powerful. We believe the word of God has come to you and you have been blessed by this sermon. Subscribe to this channel and get notified about every video posted.